My wife lied to me. She didn't go to the hospital with the sick kid, but to his friend's birthday party. He really wanted to go. They got into a car crash. She died on the spot, and our son was brought to a hospital where I worked. I didn't know who I was going to operate on until I walked into the OR. Kirill died in my arms. I haven't operated on children under no pretext since then. What about Lova? I'll put him in the plan for this month. A colleague of mine will operate, not me. He's very good. But you must promise me one thing. 25,000. Never lie to me. Vadim, there's no need for all of this. I just need your professional help. I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in you. And what if I reject you? You won't help me. I will, of course, but that's not the point. I have to go. Wait. Somebody's waiting for you. Yes, my friend already called. Then tomorrow morning at the clinic with the boy, on an empty stomach. They'll do the tests and I'll examine him. Men without heart. How do you understand all this? It's an absolute puzzle to me. Whoa, that's it. This ride is fire. Zero to a hundred in 4.9. You should take it. I don't drive that fast. I'm not as courageous as you are. Stas, this might sound stupid, but I've always wanted a red car. Stupid, right? Why? Have you seen my new ride? It's also red. Ferrari are red. All the cool cars are red, you know. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, can we have a car like this, but the red one? Of course, it can be at our dealership tomorrow morning. And you're Stanislav Khotkevich? Can I have your autograph? Please, I'm your huge fan. I just want to say that your last hat trick is just fantastic, really. And of course, we will offer you exclusive discount conditions. Full set and snow tires as a bonus. Rear view camera, tire pressure monitor, ESP, ABS. Maximum package. Take it, they'll make you a discount. Tell me, how will you pay for it? Cash, non-cash, any form of payment convenient for you? Well, I don't know yet. I didn't take money with me. How about I come tomorrow? Of course, no problem. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. the car will be at the dealership. Okay, I'll come by too. I want to ride this baby. Well, then tomorrow at 9. Here. It's a deal. By the way, I advised Jenka to get the same car, but she didn't listen. She does everything her way. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Good luck. Well, is it agreed? Did someone come? I have to bring Lava to the clinic tomorrow morning for tests and examination. I will take my son myself. No, I will do it. I found the clinic thanks to my personal connections, and you shouldn't be there. It's either that or nothing. Fine. Lova is fast asleep. I'll go wake him up and we'll go home and I will bring him tomorrow morning. Let him sleep. Are you going to take him on a public transport across town? I thought you would give us a ride, or a sick child isn't worthy of such an honor. It's a 15-minute drive from my home to the clinic. It's an hour from yours. And that's not taking traffic into account. Why would you drag him? The doctor said it's very serious. All right. I'll call you after the clinic. Here is his medicine. The prescription says how, what, and then to give him. He has to take one pill in an hour before bedtime. Wake him up and give it to him.
One more thing. Leova doesn't eat frozen food, so you will have to make him a porridge in the morning. Can you do that? He has to go to the clinic on an empty stomach. Hello. This is Iran Hatkevich. They should have notified you about my call. Everything I say is strictly confidential. I urgently need information about this person. Женя? What the hell? I was waiting for you at my parents' house. You don't even pick up your phone. I was at the hospital with Lova, my friend's son. He's really bad. He's staying with us tonight. It's far for him to go home. Let him stay? No problem. I hope he gets better. Is that all his? Damn. Shit. Poor kid. Zhenya, we have started a discussion with my father. He says that if the whole team goes, we need a private jet. You know, I don't want the wedding. What do you mean? Let's just quietly sign the papers and that's it. And all the money for castles, dresses, jets, we'll give to a fund that helps children. Zhenya, are you feeling all right? You wanted this yourself, France, Cinderella, your album. Why not, Jenny? It's all pointless. What matters is that we're together. You know, Jenny, you're a genius. Charity is awesome. Everyone will talk about us. We only have to make some children. Like Beckham's. Only more. Five to beat them. You would be the best mother. Stop it. There's a kid here. We'll make him up. Let's see. Stanislav Hotkevich. Stanislav Khodkevich has announced his engagement. Bingo! And after the test, I will take you to the best confectionery. Mom doesn't let me have sweets before my meals. Okay, then we'll have breakfast after the hospital, and then we'll have cakes after that. But before the hospital, we'll stop by a place. What place? It's a surprise. Get in. I have never been to such a beautiful store before. Do you like it? Yes, very much. We'll buy you whatever you want. Even a tablet? A tablet first. I'm gonna die, right? Is that why you bought me a tablet? As a farewell gift? Sweetie, I'll do anything for you to get better and live happily ever after. You still have to introduce me to Barsik. Do you really want to meet him? Of course. He is lying in cat's clothing. Come on. Once again, please, tell my son that I'm expecting him. 
Vadim Nikolaevich has set a time for personal visits, before 8 a.m. and after 6 p.m. But this, of course, doesn't concern his own mother. Hi. We are here to see Vadim Nikolaevich. Evgenia? What a grown child you have. What do you know? Vadim Nikolaevich, there are people here to see you. Sofia Palna, I'm very glad to see you too. So you have found time between investigations and decided to pay a visit to your son. So this is how it is, right, Vadim? You have time for the honey vegan operator's daughter, but not for your own mother. Why don't you answer my calls? Mom. Lenochka, please see my mom to my office and make her some... Coffee. Coffee. Mom, I'll take care of you right after the young man here. Sofia Palna, follow me. Vadim, we need to talk tete-a-tete. Well, of course. Come with me. Vadim. Vadim. Lev. Well, Lev, another small shot, and we will bolster your strength with some cookies. Relax your arm. It's gonna hurt again. It won't. Don't worry. Everyone says that I have such a good hand. Well... What do you say? Did it hurt? Old? It is done? You are not like the other nurses. You are all so kind here. As if it's not a hospital at all. Here is a certificate of courage for you. And the cookies, just as I promised. Well, Lev, I know that you're tired of all this, but I need to listen to your engine. Breathe. Don't breathe. Take a breath. Breathe out. Breathe normally. That's all. Come to my office. Can I have a picture with you? Sure. I blinked in this one. You can post this one. All right, one second. There. Ladies, don't you have work to do? Is the paperwork ready? Oh, hey. Hey. So, are we taking the car? Look, I don't know what to do. Mine didn't start again today. I need a new one, but I can't afford this one. I have to save for six months. Say, is there an installment plan or a lease? Unfortunately, it's either installments or the discount. Some other time, then. Sorry for wasting your time. Don't be coy. I could lend you the money if you want. I have some. It's not safe to drive a faulty car, you know. Stas, thank you so much. I will be able to repay you in parts every month, or even once every two weeks. No problem. My dad made a few good investments, so we are in no need of money. And there will be even more money in a month or two. It's a secret. We're negotiating with a scout from Europe. So you mean... You will leave? Well, yeah. So are we taking the car or not? You know, you may have a lot of money, but... Your Genia would probably mind. I decide myself. Give me the agreement. Yes, here's the agreement. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. I will gladly answer. Here. The agreement. Are you a singer? Was it you who sang in the magic flute? I remembered you. My mom took me to a theater on my birthday. You look like a firebird. 
What a sweet boy. I did sing the Queen of the Night. I sang very high notes. Did you like it? A lot. Vadim, I hope you will help this young music lover. Well, of course I will. Zhenya, I need to discuss the boy's health with his mom. Can you call her and ask her to come here? And while we wait, we'll have lunch together? No, thanks. I'll call Vera. She will come. But me and Lova have to go. Zhenya, you don't understand. It's better for the boy to stay here. Lova, what do you say? Would you stay here with us? There's a TV, good food. They give you ice cream. You'll watch some cartoons and in the meantime we'll watch your heart. I don't mind. It's great here. But we haven't signed the agreement yet and all of Lova's medicine is at home. I've prescribed different medicine and we'll sign the agreement soon. It's just that my former classmate is in the town, Artemi. What Artemi? I hated that show off. Mom, can you stay out of it? He's been living and working in Israel for a long time now, and he's here for a conference. It's just that I don't operate on children myself, and I trust him like myself. He'll do the surgery. The only thing is that you have to make the payment today or tomorrow. I'll get the money. Good. Optionally, the mom can also live with the kid, but you'll have to pay extra for that. Mom. I'll pay for everything. All right. This is your room. All right. When will mom be here? Vera will be here soon, and I have to leave for a couple of hours. You can have a tablet with games, so you won't get bored. Will you leave me again? I won't leave you. Ever. You'll grow so tired of me, so that you'll run away from me. Bye. Well, honey, make yourself comfortable. Vadim, looks like you are in love with this girl, but she's terrible. And with a sick kid. Mom, you're terrible. First of all, it's not her kid, it's her friends. Secondly, even if he was hers, what's so bad about it? It's not what I mean. I'm talking about her family. And who is she anyway? A nobody. What do you have to talk about with her? You a genius cardiac surgeon. Mom, your snobism is killing me. It's not a snobism. I'm used to telling the truth in the face. Mom, you just don't see yourself from the outside. Vadim. Enough. I have to go to my patients. Vadim, your father left home. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. I understand him very well, Mom. I would run away from you as well, but I don't know where. Yeah, hi, I'm calling about the car sale. Yes, I'm ready to come right now. Text me the address, please. It's a nice car. I'm okay with everything. Can I give you a ride? We'll make a lap. Yeah, sure. Stop! I'm so stupid. Nikolai doesn't even want to talk to me. Sofia Pavlovna, ask your son to get in touch with his father. He will probably answer. No, I will not humiliate myself. If they don't need me, I will swallow a handful of sleeping pills and won't wake up. My God, Sofia Pavlovna, don't say that. I would talk to Vadim myself. I just don't know how. He probably won't have time for me to. Really? 
Of course. Would you do that? Oh, Emilia, you're an angel. You know, I think... The best way is to pay him a visit at home, in the evening. Then he will know where to run and nothing to cover with. Write down the address. Trokprudny Lane, Building 4, Apartment 25. Thanks. My God. What a beauty. You know... Angela Novitska has exactly the same thing. She was proving to me that it was a one-off product for a good hour. <laughs> By the way, have you heard? She was robbed. You don't say. Yes, her husband to be exact. Rumor has it, he brought a mistress. And at the moment, the house was attacked. Godness. It serves him right, that. Don't get a mistress with a living wife. To be honest, I didn't hear anything about it. And I don't know who Angela Novitska is. Angela Novitska is a real bitch. Let me tell you a secret. This ring was made by a local jeweler. Something tells me that it's not the only one in town. But I don't have one. To us. To you. You must file the report. How many of you smart asses are there? You must. And you must watch your belongings. So? Look, I really need money. I wanted to sell my car to save a child. File the report, please. I need a statement from my insurance company to at least get a compensation. Why didn't you start with that? You urgently need money and they stole your car straight away. How inconvenient. And you're covering with a child. Have you no shame? I'm telling the truth. That's how much of this truth I've heard in my life. And actually, lady, I have a lunch break. Right now. I'm worried about him. You understand my state. Hi, are you a doctor? Hello, yes. Do you work here, right? Yes. What's going on here? My friend brought my son here for examination today. She promised to call me back and she didn't. I was told he was hospitalized, but they don't tell me what room he is in. Lev Tamilin, maybe you know him. Oh, Lev Tamilin, sure I do. Down the hall, room 9, and you... You are Vera, Evgenia's friend. I guess you could say that. Could? I think you're very lucky to have a friend like her. She'll do everything for you. How is Lova? Why has he been kept in the hospital? Is he in danger? That's what I wanted to discuss with you. He has atrial fibrillation and pulmonary edema. It's very serious. He needs surgery. And to avoid irreversible consequences, he needs to stay here under the supervision of doctors. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I urgently need $25,000 for my friend's son's operation. It can't wait. She'll repay us later. Uh-huh. Zhenya, what the hell? I haven't finished. I need $25,000 for Lova's operation now. Why didn't you say sooner? I've already lent some to Alina. Alina? Yeah. She asked. She asked to look at a car and help her. And she was short of money, so I borrowed her 30 grand. So there is no more money, unless I ask my father. You gave Alina so much money and told me nothing? What were you thinking? What does this Alina even want? Zhenya, I earned this money myself. Why are you scolding as if I am a kid? Yeah? Then why does your dad take care of all your money? Because my dad knows this stuff better. You could have given some of yours if it was so urgent. You're obviously unaware of it, but I don't have such kind of money. 
Женя. Женя, don't be mad. Shit. Come on, oh, come on. That's it. Give me the tablet. It's a gift. Lova, you can't worry, even because of the game. Why did you even buy this stupid tablet? It's bad for your eyes, and it makes you dumper. Not true. Jenya said it's safe, and it has educational games. What does she know? She knows. Give me the tablet back. Okay. But play another game. You can't worry. Jenya said I'll get better here. She said right. I wanted to sell my car to pay for the surgery, but it was stolen. The police don't file the report, and they don't give me the statement for my insurance. Tomorrow morning, I'll try to withdraw everything I have on my account, and I think that this should be enough for my advance payment. The banks are closed already. Where exactly they didn't file the report? It's for you. It's your General Shevchenko. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. It will be done in the best way possible. Well, they won't find the car, as you may understand. The important thing is that they gave me the statement for my insurance. When did you eat last time? It's not important. It's important. Let's go get dinner. I promised Lova that I'd come to him. He's with his mom right now. She came to the clinic. She was looking for him. Why didn't you tell her anything? She's his mother. She's worried. My purse and phone were stolen. I couldn't. Right. I see. You need to eat anyway. I insist as a doctor. Look, I'm not up to romance right now. I'm not going to a restaurant. No one's taking you there. Zhenya. I haven't told Lova's mother yet. But I will tell you, he's... he's in a very bad condition. It would be a miracle if he leaves the OR. I thought doctors didn't make such prognosis. It's not a prognosis. I've seen a lot of things in my life. I know that miracles happen. As I understand, you're the only close person to your friend. Just in case, so that you know what to do if anything happens. And now let's go to my place. I'll eat myself and I'll feed you, and we'll talk in a normal, calm environment. Come on. Wait. Are you kidding me? You decided to hide behind me in front of your mom's protege again? And under this pretext like this? Don't freak out. I'm not kidding with such things. Let me find out what does she want. Wait. Hi, Amelia. What can I do for you? Sorry to bother you. I've decided to talk about your mother and took the liberty of coming to your place. I don't think now is the best time to talk about my mother. Maybe you could give me 30 minutes of your time tomorrow. It's really important. Tomorrow with pleasure. Then here's my business card. I'll call you. Hotkevich has a beautiful fiancé. He probably had to steal her from other contenders. What about Hotkevich? Your friend Evgenia. She and Hadkevich announced their wedding the other day. You didn't know that?
Женя. Wait. Wait, I tell you. Stop. Stop. Your first was her. At least figure out which girls you have on even days and which on odd days. How about you start with yourself with even and dot? Is it true that you're getting married? My personal life is none of your concern. You're wrong. It is my concern ever since you came into mine. You're flattering yourself. If it's Amelia, then so be it. Do what you want. Wait. I don't need Amelia. I need you. Do you like eggs? Where are my shoes? In the hall? Is that all you want to say to me? I have to go. Why do you need a gun? And why is it not in safe? Why are you so nervous? I thought you had a way with weapons. It's not a toy, it's a firearm. Please. We're not in a Chekhov's play. Zhang, what's wrong? Stay. We'll have breakfast. Or do you have to run, prepare for your wedding? I have to deal with the money and the agreement. Very well. Wonderful. Where have you been? Where? I called every hospital, every morgue. Let me go, you're hurting me. My car and my purse with my phone in it were stolen. I spent the night at the hospital with Lova. He was hospitalized yesterday. They will operate on him. Damn it, Zhenya. I'm, I'm sorry. Zhenya. I'm sorry. Look, I was worried the whole night. I have a training in the morning. I'm sorry. I need to take a shower. Okay, of course. Женя, listen. My parents are expecting us for dinner. How about we go to them? I'll get the money for the boy from my father. Thank you. You are very nice. I managed to find out that Evgenia Alexandrovna Lisitsina was actually raised in an orphanage after her grandmother's death. Her mom died during childbirth. Nothing is known about her father. Was there something else after the orphanage? Yes, she got pregnant at 16. But it is unclear whether she gave birth or not. Before she turned 16, she practiced shooting. She was a good shooter. She could even join the Olympic team. Then, judging by the night school graduation certificate, she enrolled at a college. She studied well. At the same time, she worked as a waitress, cleaner, watchman. After a year of study, she transferred to a good university, faculty of commerce. In her third year, she became an intern at a PR company. And then she hit the jackpot. What do you mean? She worked her butt off. She was making her career. You know, overall, she's a good girl, a good person. She's just put a sick boy in a clinic. There's only one bad thing. She's cheating on your son. And do you have proof? Jenia, why did you decide not to have a wedding? 
You and Charity? Did something happen? Nothing happened. I just changed my mind. But why children? Not dogs, not cats, but children. Do you love kids so much? Mom, why not? Женя's friend has a sick child. She was very impressed by that. Dad, I need $25,000, by the way. Or how much is it, Jenya? May I ask you, why do you need this kind of money? We need to help the boy. I am sorry, but you've used up your limit. The rest of the money are in circulation, and it's not that easy to get it back. I'm gonna need at least two weeks. Well, then lend me some of yours. You have the money. I don't have that much. Excuse me. Emilia, hi. This is Vadim. Could you come to my place tonight? Knock, knock. What are you doing? You decided to rob us. God, I knew it was all about the money. What money? You don't have that much. You can't even lend it to your own son. Don't push it, honey. Better look what I want to give you as a wedding gift. Is that your son? Did you follow me? No, not me. Specially trained people did. And that's why I know everything about you, about your kid, and what you are sleeping with the doctor. Here's my advice to you. Never mess with people who can protect their family and their money as well. Do you think I'm with your son because of the money? <laughs> well, of course. Why else? You don't understand nothing. Get out of here. You have an interesting apartment. Yeah. Original paintings? Are you into art? Gifts from patients. Not bad. And you? I'll refrain. I have an important meeting. What did you want to talk about? Your mother. She is very lonely. You know, she has been going towards that all of her life. Yes? Perfect. I'll be there soon. I gotta run. Do you need a ride? No, thanks. I'm okay. I hope we will get a chance to talk about your mother and not only that. And the little prince went back to meet the fox. Goodbye, he said. Goodbye, said the fox. And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye, the little prince repeated, so that he would be sure to remember.
It is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. It is the time I have wasted for my rose, said the little prince, so that he would be sure to remember. Men have forgotten this truth, said the fox, but you must not forget it. You become responsible forever for that you have tempted. This is unexpected. Левушка. Левушка, I'm sorry. I spent half a day at the police station yesterday. My car and my purse were stolen with all the money and my phone in it. Now I'm here, and I'll be with you until you get better. You promised me yesterday and didn't come. I did come. It's just, you were with your mom and I didn't want to bother you. See how much stuff. I'm not even gonna go home for a couple of days so I can be with you. Sofia Palna, what are you doing here? Well, Vadim has a meeting with Emilia today, so I decided to spend my evening like that. Levushka's mom went to get these things, and we are here reading The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint. Exupéry. Good boy. Sofia Polna, is someone waiting for you at home? Does it matter? It does. I perfectly understand everything, and I'm not mad at you. What do you know about loneliness? I know absolutely everything about loneliness. Coffee. Please. I'll be right back. The coffee is so bad here. You know, if they put Italian coffee machine here, the price will be completely through the roof. You know, Zhenya, your lover reminds me of our Kirusha very much. You can't even imagine how much I miss him. Loving your grandkids isn't the same as loving your children. It's more conscious, less egoistic. I would give up anything for him to live. Everything okay, Mom? Yes. Zhenya, come on, we need to talk. You go, Zhenya. I'll stay with Lova. Zhenya? Zhenya, are you home? Mom, what did you say to Zhenya? She ran away. What the hell? Bring her back now. What the hell are you talking about? What man? Artsemi, meet Evgenia. 
Yevgenia is a close friend of the boy's mom. You can discuss everything with her. Hello, I've looked through your documents and I absolutely agree with Vadim. The boy urgently needs surgery. What are his chances? Whatever the chances, he needs to have a surgery. There are no options. The surgery is scheduled for the morning. But I don't have the money. It's okay, I'll put my money in. We'll deal with it later. I gotta go. I'll be at the clinic at 7. Vadim will tell you about the surgery himself. Bye. Bye. I know about Stanislav. If you're going to marry him, then why did you stay? It's over. I left him. If you have nowhere to go, then stay at my place. It's cold in here. No fever. It's your nerves. Lay down. Come on. I love you.